Hello. What's that? Um, I'm doing it for a uh, an English lesson. And uh, is it okay if I film here? No, it's not. Brent here from American English with this guy. Another English teacher challenge. I think it's number eight. Uh, I've, I've jumped off bridges. I've given uh, an English lesson on a roller coaster, slept overnight in a cemetery, and now the English lesson I am most nervous about, teaching English inside a supermarket. Now that might not sound that nerve wracking. If something makes you really nervous, you can say that it's nerve wracking. But this is because I am going to get kicked out of here. But I think it's important for you to learn English inside a, an American supermarket. You might also hear the term grocery store Unfortunately, American supermarkets don't like you filming inside them. So I, I will get kicked out. Uh, let's talk about that English phrasal verb first, getting kicked out. I'm, nobody is going to swing their foot and hit me like, like a kick. Uh, it's another way to say they will probably politely ask me to leave. Um, it's, it's a public place, but it's a little weird. Um, when you're in your home, that's private. You're in the privacy of your own home, we say. And you can pretty much do anything there. You, know, you can film yourself. Uh, you can even probably walk around naked if you want to. It's the privacy of your own home. When you get out in public, which is, I'm out in public right now, I'm in a parking lot. There's the store that I'm about to go in. Um, so I'm in public. There are different rules here, but, but like I can't walk around naked. Not, not that I want to, nor does anybody want to see that. And I definitely can't do it inside the store, but in public, I can record whatever I want to. I can go up to people on the street, record them, they can politely say, hey, no, don't record me, and I won't record them, but I can record on the street. When I get into the supermarket, it's a little bit of both. Yes, I'm in public, certain rules there, but it's also private because Shaw's Supermarket, that's where we're going in just a minute, they can have their own rules. So they can say, don't film inside here. And I know they have said, don't film inside here. Did I ask them? No. I just know that big stores of any kind, um, restaurants, they will often say don't film because they don't want to be sued. They don't want you to catch them doing something wrong. Maybe there are wet floors and somebody could slip. So they're very careful about lawsuits. So in a minute, I'm still trying to psych myself up. I'm still trying not to lose my nerve. If, if you're scared to do something, you could say you're trying to psych yourself up. I'm trying to uh, not lose my nerves because I am scared. I do usually try to follow the rules, uh, but I do feel that it's important for you to learn English inside a supermarket. <sighs> a couple times I drove up in the past um, to record this lesson and I chickened out. If you chicken out, um, that means something is scary or nervous for you. You were going to do it, but for some reason, it was too. It was too. You were too nervous to do it, so you chickened out. So I've been here before and I've chickened out, but not today. We are going in, and a manager will probably come over to me and ask me to leave. A manager, that's the person who's in charge of the supermarket, but. As you can see, maybe you can hear, it is raining. So hopefully not a lot of people will be in there. Um, right when we walk in, the first section you will see is called the produce section. Fruits and vegetables. Produce, it's a weird word. It's spelled the same way um, as produce. Produce is a verb like to make. Like um, I'm sitting in my car, it is a Toyota. So Toyota has produced this car. They've made this car. But when we walk in there, you're going to see the produce department or the produce department. 
couple different pronunciations in English for that, but think fruits and vegetables. There's also a Starbucks there. So, all right, I'm stalling. I'm stalling. If, if I'm, um, because I'm nervous, I'm just talking and I'm trying not to go in there. No more stalling. Let's go. Let's go. We'll have to go quickly because it is raining. See, how long is it going to take them uh, to kick me out? My camera isn't that big, but I'm sure someone is going to see me and eventually they will come over and say, uh, sir, you can't film inside here. Uh, can you tell I'm really nervous? Cause I am. Hey, the first thing we're gonna come to though is a ramp. There are no stairs here. All right, there are no stairs here because um, as I've said in other lessons, in the United States, you have to make your store accessible to everyone. Everybody has to be able to get into your store. So if you are in a wheelchair, uh, you should still be able to shop here. Behind me, those are called carts. We call carts. I think if you go to England, they call it a carriage. Over here, I should do a whole lesson on this. But if you buy a bottle of soda or a can of soda here, you have to pay a deposit, five cents. So if your can costs a dollar, you'll have to pay a dollar five. When you bring that can back, you get your five cents back. And that's what those machines are about. Ooh, I forgot. There's also a florist here. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm so nervous. I'm gonna get kicked out. Let's walk in. <clears throat> smells so good in here. Um, it smells like cinnamon, but yeah, people are already looking at me. Um, but this is a, a lot of big supermarkets have florists. We would call this a florist. Yeah, two people are already talking. Let's go walk by them. There's a Starbucks in here. And uh, here's some fruit and vegetables. We got some grapes here. And we have uh, some bananas here. Hey, how's it going? Just, um, it's okay if I film in here. I'm making a, an English, bread. what's that? Bread. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Steve? How are you, man? Oh, well, I'm good. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> I'm just um, filming an English lesson here for uh, my YouTube channel, but um, I didn't know if it was okay if I film in here. What's uh, the? Uh... Let me go get the school director. Okay, yeah, I... it's no problem. I don't want to cause any trouble if I can in here, but <laughs> no, I don't want to cause any trouble. Oh my God, what are the odds? I I did not plan that. A buddy of mine from high school actually works here. His name is Steve. He's going to go ask the manager if I can film in here. Um, I'm pretty sure I can't, but while we do, let's learn a little more English. That was, that was weird. All right, this is an eggplant, okay? And uh, it's, it's an organic eggplant, which means um, no pesticides have been used so a pesticide is something that kills bugs, but it also could affect the way the fruit is produced. So um, you have to pay a little bit more money for organic fruit or organic meat because just fewer bad products have been used on it. So we call them pesticides. Anytime you see um, side, C, I, D-E at the end of a word, think of like murder, like homicide. So pesticides kill pests. Here's a celery. Do you like celery? You know, it's very crunchy. So when you eat it, you could say this is very crunchy. Like some uh, organic, organic carrots. Well, it's taken him a long time to find the manager, so I'm still able to teach here. So these are carrots and they are organic. You can see that on the package. But 
those are little baby carrots. These are the, uh, the full thing. So you can buy a couple different kinds of carrots. I'm not very good at math, but that looks like it's about six different types of carrots you can buy here. We got some peppers. Organic peppers, yellow peppers, red peppers. Yeah, so peppers in English, it's just basically, um, a lot of it is by color. I mean, we do have habanero. I don't know if they sell those here, but those are obviously hotter. You can buy just green pepper, red pepper, yellow pepper, orange pepper. I think all those peppers taste the same, but then you have, uh, what, poblano, we have a lot of different ones, but uh, I'm probably saying that I can't record in here. What's the vert? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, I didn't think I'd be able to record. Steve, thank you. Would you like to say hi to anybody? Would you like to be on camera? No. Say hi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, man. So heard you were in the list and then you jumped ship. Like What's it? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm uh, teaching in Auburn now, so but a little bit easier. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, this is a challenge I gave to myself. I can't stop recording for any reason. So, no, no, it's fine. No, this is cool. But it's just, um, yeah, I, 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 uh, I've been in Auburn for like four years now. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. I thought I would be kicked out of here. It helps to know people. But yeah, I won't get any customers. I don't get a customer. My gosh. So I can't. So I'm, I'm going to try to just get myself in here. But there are no customers actually here. So this is, um, I think, the second video I've made where I didn't get kicked out. 7-Eleven, um, I got kicked out of the first store, but I didn't get kicked out of the second store. So, and there might be a lot of people I know here. It's not like I'm that famous in my, um, I don't live in this town, but I, I teach in this town. Um, just I might know some people because I teach. Uh, so this is the produce department. And then there, there is the Starbucks over there, but there are people, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to show them. Over here is the deli department. The deli department. That's where you can get your sliced meats. But I'm here really early in the morning, so they probably don't have a lot of things ready, like this whole case. This whole case sells hot food. And it's, I think it's like 7.30 in the morning. So there's no hot food ready, but there are some salads that you can get in the deli department. Hello, what's that? Um, I'm doing it for a, uh, an English lesson. And uh, is it okay if I film here? No, it's not. Okay. Um, Steve from the produce department um, asked the manager. He said it was okay. Okay. But they said it's okay, but I've always been told no filming. I yeah, I thought there was no filming either. But okay, sorry. But um, I I was told I can't get any customers on on film. But yeah, feel free to ask. If it's not cool, I will leave. I promise. Yeah, he just said I couldn't film in here. So you can get your sliced meats here. There are some slicers in the back and uh, they will slice up your meat for you. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't like the fact that I was recording here. So not a lot of customers in the store, but now we're getting into the, uh, the meat department. So if you're a vegetarian, you're not going to like this place right here. I mean, it's literally called the meat department. So all they sell is meat. Look at this, you can get a Bubba burger if you want. Bubba burger, have you ever heard of a Bubba burger? It looks like it's uh, frozen, 
some kind of frozen meat. It's Bubba Burger. They have a different color. I've never heard of a Bubba Burger. All right. Do a couple more sections here, then I'll, I'll get out of here if I'm making uh, some people feel uncomfortable. We can go over to the frozen food section. I hope I hope the audio picked that up because he said, "Yeah, you shouldn't, you shouldn't film here." I, they might be letting me film just because I know that guy Steve because we went to high school together. But let's go over to the frozen food department. I think it's frozen food. No. So yeah, actually, yeah. So another section in the supermarket is the frozen food department. Can you guess what they have in the frozen food department? Frozen food. Over here, on this side of the aisle, we might call that toiletries or paper goods. So toilet paper will be there, tissues, tissues. Um, usually like plastic forks and knives, napkins. Oh, my favorite part of the frozen food section, the ice cream section. Okay, instead of the dairy section, which is over here, the next part we'll go to is the bakery. And they sell cakes and cookies and, and even frozen ice cream cakes. A lot of big supermarkets will also have a pharmacy so you can get your medicine, but they are not open right now. need to try not to get any customers either <clears throat> and there is a song playing here in the store YouTube probably won't like that but it's okay it'll be worth it so more frozen food here but there are customers in that aisle so I'm not gonna show um, but this is the dairy section customers are here but so when I say dairy I mean eggs milk yogurt Not sure if eggs are exactly dairy, but mostly things made with milk, butter. Here's some bread, the bread aisle. Lots of people down this way, so let's not film that part. Yeah, so um, this turned into a, a pretty decent lesson. If um, fewer people were staring at me, I could probably do a better job. But um, this is called an end cap, an end cap. So at the end of each aisle, there will be an end cap. And a lot of times the supermarket will put their best sales there. All right. All right, some people are giving me some looks. Hey, if you need the bathroom, the bathrooms, water fountains. So almost every store in the United States will have a bathroom, a pretty decent bathroom too. So lots of, I can't show it there. Oh, Halloween is coming up. Halloween. You can get all of your Halloween candy here. How about some fresh bagels? On Sundays, this store has a sale. Five dollars for bagels. This blueberry bagels. All right, this is crazy. I'm surprised that I'm able to uh, record here. We would call that thing a motorized cart. <sighs> Unfortunately, let's go outside where I can talk a little bit. Almost every store in the United States, if it's big enough, at least a grocery store, they're going to have those motorized carts. 
Unfortunately, um, there are a lot of Americans <laughs> that like to eat. We're kind of known for that, right? And um, sometimes, even people my age will be so big that it's hard for them to get around, to get around the store. So they will use one of those motorized carts. But it's also good for older people, and we might call them the elderly, that if they need to do their own grocery shopping, they can still use one of those carts and get around the whole store. So behind me, look at, it's fall right now. And so you can see there are pumpkins, there are more customers coming this way. So let's go this way. Americans love pumpkin in the fall. They like actual pumpkins, but they like their coffee to have pumpkin in it. Those bagels I just showed you, um, there might, e might have even been pumpkin bagels there. I'm not so sure. That's the parking lot of a supermarket. That is where you'll park your car. All right, hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you're looking for more English teacher challenges right up there, there's a playlist with all eight. See you later.